What's up, guys? Welcome to a okay. special episode here of Live at the Bike, brought to you by the Bicycle Casino here in Bell Gardens, California. I am your host, Bart Hansen here. I'm going to take you through five hours of a mix game. This is really exciting for me. This is a mix game that we are playing. Uh, it is a mix of Limit and Big Bet. We are going to be playing Limit Hold'em, No Limit Hold'em, PLO, PLO 8, uh, Limit Omaha High, and Limit 08. And I'm going to be guiding you through everything. 200, 400 in the Limit rounds. Now, it says it's 5,100 here. We're going to play our first hand as a Big Bet game. It's Pot Limit 08, so this is uh, Pot Limit High Low. But we're actually playing 100, 100 with a $100 ante from the big blind. So it's actually a hundred hundred with a $100 ante. And in the big bet games, like they do when they play limit and big bet mix games, it's going to be a 40 big blind cap. So high stakes PLO eight right off the bat here with a 40 big blind cap from each player. And it looks like Zach here has raised with ace king seven three with three clubs. Uh, Ace-4, King-8, double-suited makes the call in the small blind, and Martin calls with King-Queen, Deuce-4. This is actually one of my favorite games to play here, so I know quite a bit about it. You can see that Chris has flopped a nut flush draw with a pair of eights and Ace-4 low. He now makes aces up, but here's the thing about high-low. Um, Martin here actually has a really strong hand in seat five. He's got the King-High flush draw with Deuce-4, so he has the second nut low. Gutter to a jack and a king high flush draw. He actually has a hammer lock on this hand, even though Chris's draw is larger with diamonds. Let's see what the river brings out here. PLO 8 is always, oh wow, it's a diamond. And uh, Chris is going to bet out basically with the nut flush, even though there are straight flush combinations. And because this is a 40 big blind cap game uh, from each player, if I was Martin here, um, I would probably be shoveling money in basically with the second nut flush and the second nut low. I think all the money's going to go in. It might have been just bet call. It was hard to hear, but they're going to chop it up here. Chris Klodnicki has the nut flush, and Martin with the second nut flush, but he has deuce four for the second nut low. And they will chop it up, and we will certainly see a lot of chop pots here. Right off the bat, big hand in PLO8. And here we go to probably the game that I am the most unfamiliar with. And I'm not sure if a lot of the players have actually played it at the table. Limit Omaha High. Regular limit, yep. So 200, 400. Limit Omaha High. This way you can, you had a good job. Start, start off with, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're working on that? <laughs> no, I will, I, my, my friend, You're not a regular my friend, my comedy writer, I'm, I'm not a regular man, <laughs> so, uh, he's, 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 he's stopped coming. Yeah, just, well, just I, if I have the choice between mix and no limit, mix is still mindless, I like it. <laughs> he's got it's a less shot. stress. Mindless. Yeah, exactly. He's got a shot. Great. So Chris is going to raise here with 8846. Like Martin's got aces. You didn't like Garrett shoving on you? And it is no, limit no. high. He's going to three bet. Chris got aces and Garrett just Probably a lot of, uh, just like in limit hold'em, a lot of value to drive the big blind out of there. And look at that. How about four aces here from Marty Schaefer right off the bat? <laughs> Garrett was value money Four aces right off the bat here. Ace, ace, six, it looks like. Wow. Oh, I thought the turn might have been an eight there. It would have been a disaster for Chris. Checked through again. Getting a little graphics lag here. The river here. Can't quite see it, but we know Marty's got four aces. So this is interesting. Chris thinking about calling down with eights here. The limit. He's yeah, getting almost really four and a half to one, and he makes the right fold. And there's Elia Lezra in the background. <laughs> Timothy Jansen says, Bart, can you please explain how to qualify for a low hand again? In high-low games in poker, most poker that it plays high-low, ace is both high and low. 
a mile. And it is in the games that we're going to be playing in. I'm actually in. not 100% sure where USC is located. <laughs> so, uh, all these high-low games are played with an eight or better qualifier, which means that there need to be three unpaired cards on the board below an eight, eight or below, for a low to qualify. And if there is not three cards, eight or below, that are unpaired, the high hand scoops. Yeah. Zach's going to raise it up here with sort of a premium low hand that doesn't have an ace in it. Deuce, three, four, five. Dan just going to call here with ace, deuce, eight, eight. A hand that some people would three bet with a suited ace. He just calls. And we'll see it four ways. Again, we see sort of a high action flop. Wow, what a flop here for Chris. Top set, nut flush draw. He bets out here. Marty has a straight draw, got a price. And Zach is actually going to raise here with backdoor low draws, straight draws, and a low flush draw. And let's see if Chris puts in a third bet. We raise. He does. <laughs> Marty's going to come along, and I imagine Zach is just going to call here. Guys, you can't let Chris win this spot. <laughs> just can't happen. Turn is a king, and now Marty here with Jack-9 has the best hand. So we've got tops, we, what was top set in the nut flush draw, but Marty Schaefer has turned the best of it here with Jack-9. Zach is going to be out of the hand now because that low did not come in on turn. Marty just calls. Chris needs to catch a spade here or have the board pair. River is a club, puts a one-liner out there, and backdoor clubs. And uh, Marty Schaefer actually checks behind with the straight, and he's going to win it. 4,200 chip pot. What's going on, Chris? You're losing every pot, man. So again, that's another example of no low qualifying. <laughs> he said he said that the stream was showing up about the travesties that he yeah. endured, yeah. but that one was so big, it's not like he had to show it just in case they missed it. You'll see the other ones if you watch it. <laughs> that's the first one where he's had anything. And I imagine Chris is going to put in the fourth right, bet, as know. he does, with two black kings. Last year, a bunch of people picked so four bets, bets heads up. Players. Limit yeah, holding. Here we go. Right, I know. And we had side bets against all those teams, and we still lost. And we had guys playing but every event, and we lost the billion. Marty like, flops a pair of nines. Play. Chris bets here. The big yeah. guy. Yeah. The rush, the rush, the rush Pot is big, and we are playing yeah, limit. Play <laughs> Marty gonna yeah. probably so call down here. Two people that didn't play any of right. It was yeah. you and someone else. I, I think. Rivers yeah. of five. You weren't even the worst. Chris goes <laughs> for yeah. three so streets. And Marty yeah. is gonna call down. Yeah. And Chris gonna win one. Yeah, we knew Rap was only gonna the be there before, for a week. The year before, in the smaller draft with uh, Greg Rich, I think uh, Phil Ivey never showed up even. <laughs> I pay $110 for him. <laughs> I guess I didn't do my... So they're homework. talking about the uh, <laughs> World Series of Poker Fantasy <laughs> draft that's yes. been going on yeah, for maybe sure. four or five years. I'm gonna play more tournaments than uh, my main crowd over here. <laughs> By the way, Mike Nori <laughs> was in some poker news in the last six months. He was the guy that had that prop bet. I think it was to eat three or four hundred dollars worth of McDonald's food in two days. Uh, I think he got through one meal. That's Mike Norian seat too. You have very valuable no limit games, you know? I play some of the no limit 1500. So of course I play those, all the studs. Last hand of limit hold'em here, Ellie. Pocket jacks. Gets folded to Dan Zach, who three bets the small with nines. And Ellie just calls. I'm going to try to play more than I last time. Heads up. So you're playing less? I played way too much poker. No. Oh, play tournaments? Both players here. Play more golf. Second pair to the board. Or a pair to the board. Let's see if Dan's going to continue to bet. No, now he chooses to check. And Ellie checks back. Dan bets the river. Here. Ellie <laughs> takes a little bit of a passive route, <coughs> gets I mean, Dan to value on himself, yeah. and Ellie wins it with jacks. Thousand dollars worth of McDonald's. Thank you guys for pointing that out. Are they? Oh no, Yellow. Uh, forgot about that. 
So we are on to PLO. Sounds like that's 17 per player, yeah, perhaps. He would go in there. Than uncle call him all the time. He used to go in there and like fire in, like who just shove in a rack dark yeah. over and over comment. again. A rack of what? Blues. Blue or red? Okay. Not anything substantial. Jose PHTT in the Twitch chat chat says, yeah, "Why a cap? Yeah, because we are playing time. limit <laughs> and big bet. There's almost yeah, always a cap." Yeah in the limit rounds when you play a mix with limit and big bet games, and that is because the stacks in limit don't matter, but they do in big bet games. Moranga? Yeah. I would go after class. And he has to So, Nori here opens king, queen, seven, nine. Gonna bet 400 into 900 with top pair, and I'll take it down. I was so sick, I, I would leave after class at like 5 p.m. Oh, and sit through four, four hours of traffic games they have there. from Pepperdine to play $1, $3, no limit. Yeah, $1, $3, no limit. And they'd occasionally have 2 5 no limit. How far is there? It's really far. 100 miles like, for sure. In, it's 100 in the middle of traffic, it could be like 2 to 3 hours uh, easily. When I was in college, I drove up to Turning Stone to play a $1,000 tournament. Yeah, I, I did the same thing. Yeah. It was a five-hour drive from my house to Turning Stone. I used to go to Turning Stone in the summer all the time. Yeah, I would drive from... Weekend trips. So I played five hours to play two dollars, five dollars no in, in high school we used to go under eight. So again, this is a collection game and it's seventeen dollars per ha per half hour per player. And they'll be playing with a collection pot, so whoever wins the collection pot will pay one fifty three for the table. Everyone loved it. Yeah. How come something can't be like that anymore? Yeah. Now you can't find a person under the age of 25 playing poker. Right. I'm like the young guy now. Ellie going to min-raise the button here to 200. Oh, you can. And the blinds are going to come in. Yeah, you're I, there's like no one. It's yeah, like you're really, like the youngest. It's really hard to find people younger. Yeah, I'm 28. But like, I started so. in Looks like Ellie actually has the best hand here with Jack 9. What? Gets checked through, turns a deuce. There's no, like, Dan Fly the youngest. Yeah, there's <coughs> no one my age was. Chris now turns. No one starts anymore. Oh, excuse me. Chris had Jackson fives on the flop. He bets the turn here. Ellie makes the call. River is a three. Puts a one liner to a four out there. Ellie turned Jacks up, and Jack five is going to beat Jack Deuce. Yeah, streaming the video games is the new thing. Everyone wants to be the next. Those streamers, like, if you, it's Jack. super the top heavy. Jack, if you, right. you make right. zillion right. errors, right. you just make so much money. <laughs> Put in a real, I, could bring, I might bring a Snuggie. <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. sold full body suits at the Rio the like, a couple like of years ago. Level. Oh, that was that guy, uh, the French guy. He sold it. Uh, I don't know who was doing They They were selling like onesie like, outfits. Onesie outfits? I, yeah. That was like probably three or four summers ago, I think. Yeah, it was. There was people were making side bets to like buy them. 400. <laughs> well, Jesse here to 400, and Dan's got nines. And again, this is sort of a, an interesting cap spot here. Each player can only put in 4,000, and Dan is going to three bet. And let's see if Jesse's just going to get this one in, late position versus blind, at 40 big blinds effective. There it is. There's the cap. So it's going to be about 2,900 for Dan to call, and he makes the call. <laughs> and they can run it twice if they want, but they're going to run it once. Classic flip here. Dan with a little bit of a lead. So here we go for 8,300. Wow, nine right there for Dan, and takes a huge lead. And that's it. Dan's going to win it. Inconsequential King comes at the end. He obviously doesn't play like you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't rep the travesty. <laughs> you you got to hold out the CPF for two outers, even if you don't have it. <laughs> With the antes and the blinds and Dan three betting to 1,100, Pop probably was like maybe 53, 54, 29 to call, something like that. So he's not going to three bet fold nines 
at 40 big blinds effective, and we'll probably see a lot of flips like that this afternoon. Game's changing here to pot limit high low. Yeah, the low eight. Four cards, right? Yes. Yeah, there's no five. So starting hands in this game, we want to see an ace and a deuce, or an ace and a three, or a premium sort of low down, low rundown hand. Thank you for subscribing in the super chat there. Nine scold, pot a nine. 800, 800, 800. So Zach opens here for a raise, deuce three, five, six, and Troy is going to three bat with ace seven, king four. There. Ellie makes the call, I ace, king, queen, point. five, and we're going to see this three, three ways. Uh, and again, not really an action there, right? type of flop for a PLO eight. When my class was a senior year. Yeah. Everybody sort of misses so here. Three quarters of the way through one semester. Zach with the only flush draw. I completed one more semester. I completed five yeah. semesters, but I basically completed six. six. And not surprisingly, yeah. it gets checked so around. No, I do not. Turn is a four. I went back. Martin, <laughs> Martin has it for me much more strong. <laughs> Zach now has I went back in. the best low draw with deuce three. Deuce three is a better low draw than ace five. And the river rolls off a ten. And it looks like Troy with ace four has the best hand. No, I went back just because I missed like friends. It's just like. But Zach is cutting out uh, chips, and it looks like he's going to bluff at it. He's going to bet 1,400. Again, this pot will not be chopped. You need three cards, eight or below, that are unpaired to have a qualifying low hand. We do not have that, and Troy makes the call there with just a four. And he's going to win it. What a call. The point's always good news. With ace four. <laughs> At least he had something to call you with. Yeah. It's not embarrassing yeah. or anything. He didn't know you were bluffing. Yeah. He just had the call. Yeah, and I could not. Troy's not one streak. You had a what? You had a big hand, guys. Straight blockers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Thank you, dude. But not here. No, you don't, you don't split it. No, no, what we should do is Zero. we should just play it. And then the viewers oh, I'm like, sorry. Okay. why is that guy putting so much money in? They only see the one board. Right, and then there's another <laughs> board like <laughs> off yeah. the table. <laughs> <laughs> He's really gambling. <laughs> <laughs> what a sick bluff. He must be stuck. <laughs> Trying to get even. Raise. Yes, oh. this is limit. Limit high. Let's raise, let's see. Three bits. <laughs> raise it up here. From Chris, under the gun, ace-10, king-10. Jesse going to three-bet. We are playing limit Omaha high. Jesse with double-suited aces. Limit Omaha high. And Mike takes three cold here with ace-king-4 jack. Three ways to the flop. And we are going to see a check raise here from Mike Nori with Jackson fours. Jesse makes the call. Jesse's got the nut flush draw with aces. Mike's going to bet here. And you can see Mike is only 62% here to win the hand. As we roll to the river, the river is a three. And Mike escapes and gets max value here with jacks up. Jacks and fours. Huge, huge flop there for Jesse Martin with the nut flush draw and aces and a pair of sixes. Had a boatload of outs, but did not come. And that's where you'll see the difference between limit Omaha high and PLO. You've been going to a lot of the nice games? Uh, three times. I think. Three times? You're going to go if they make I've uh, never been in, in the chat. Looks like we've got uh, Wayne in the Twitch chat says, Bart, do you have any limit yeah, Omaha high yeah, yeah, strategy yeah, yeah. tips? Yeah, well, you know, I sort of asked Dan Zach about pre-flop hands and limit Omaha high, and I, I think 
no it's sort of the same that. difference between no limit hold them and limit hold them. They, how do they even pick their team? They like draft off other teams' rosters. So basically, each team, each team kind of the middling back. rundown um, hands I think it's two go down in value, and the high cards go up. Um, how, no, how many do they not protect then? <coughs> I don't know. They protect some Raise. certain number of it, and then they get a pick from there. Jesse here, king, king, queen, ten. Three diamonds makes a raise. Three bet. <coughs> three bet and Chris going to three bet here. A7, queen, jack, double suited. Both players call. Looks like Dan has the best hand here with an eight and a gutter to a five. Oh, excuse me. Jesse with kings has the best hand. Excuse me. Jesse continues to have the best hand here with kings. Turn is a diamond. Eight, four, four. Turns a three of diamonds. Dan now turns the nut flush draw. He's going to bet 400. Chris gets out of the way. Jesse with the king high flush draw on kings is going to check call. And the river rolls off a king, and Jesse's got kings full, but it's going to go check, check. He had the best hand anyways. <laughs> and as Dan says, the real king's going to take it down. Sean BB73 says, what is the WSOP8 Omaha event? Limit, no limit, or pot limit? They have both limit 08 and pot limit 08 at the World Series, and of course they have pot limit high. They do not have this game, although they did in the past. They used to spread it years ago, straight limit Omaha high. Dust. <laughs> I saw his hand, Just it was pretty dust. dusty. <laughs> Stand at <A's> up. <laughs> yes. You did have more outs going to the Ripper than you probably thought you did. <laughs> yeah. Raise. Gutter and then up. Oh, sure. <clears throat> Zach opens here. Ace, eight, five, jack, double suited. Ellie going to three bet. So this is where I'm talking about here where probably these high card types of hands like Ellie's hand has got is much stronger in limit Omaha high than PLO. Zero. That's true. But Jesse doesn't play those. Both players with a wheel draw. Ellie's got the best of it right now with Ace King. Check. Check. Ace King's still good. Check, check on turn. And Ellie has paired his seven. Zach again, probably with little showdown value. And Zach's going to try to run a bluff, but Ellie will call down with a pair of sevens. And he will scoop the pot. There is no. Low again. We are playing limit Omaha high this round. Go more and make the Stanley Cup. Keep them buff. My kids want to join me now. They, they, you know, everybody's into the nights now. I would assume, yeah, just everyone's super pumped. Both the first. First but year you've had the team. And first professional team in Vegas. You know, when the Raiders will be in town, there will be 68 next seats year. in next the stadium. Year, right? That's going to be, I mean. Oh, my God. The licensing fees around that is going to be unified season tickets. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Now they're right. selling, you know, the the rights. What is this? Like 20000 the right, licensing right. fee? Yeah, that's absurd now. That's the biggest. Zach has a really good high-low hand, a limit 08 high-low hand. But playing limit high, still going to open with ace, queen, deuce, four, double suited. Not, not this season, Ellie's going to cold call the cutoff. We don't see what he has here. Nine, nine, six, eight. Zach with top pair and a gutter. Ellie flops. Well, he's got a six in pocket nines. Turns a deuce. Zach now turns aces up. Crabtree is check, no check. Good. River now is a three. So Zach with ace queen. The ace deuce gets yeah. counterfeit. And that's going to be good enough for him to yeah, bet at the end here. 
Ellie playing pocket nines, getting about five to one. Must have them in your lineup. Right, otherwise yeah. you lose everything. Amari Cooper had like a 200 something yard like touchdown game. No, I think three. And Zach no, takes no. it down. 103 touchdown. Okay, so Jax was good. But like the rest of the game was just well, The low <laughs> was better than <laughs> like, my sense was better so than ours. It was like the old, it was like yeah. the 19. There's just more hands that when you can play in low than you can in. Yeah, and also, <laughs> wait, that book was meant in the 80s? I mean, that game no, was meant in the 80s? I guess. I mean, you can oh, have a I don't actually, I King High and Ryan the Low part. Was, I mean, right, exactly. Right, exactly. Oh, the the game is old, but the, the book with the the year it published was not. No, I don't know. I didn't look. I'm saying like the style of book, you know. <laughs> very, very, very not. Not very. Analytic. Race. I can't torture anymore. You, you don't know whether us. it was just written or if it was written. Oh. Jesse gonna raise it up here to 400. Double suited kings. Uh, king king seven four. Yeah. 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 Like yeah, yeah. 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 I'm curious. And Mike's gonna three bat out of the blinds with uh, offsuit aces. Zach called in the cutoff, and Jesse's got top set. Mike with the ace of spades. So Jesse Martin here, top set, gonna raise it up right away. Zach's gonna take too cold. We don't see what he has over there. Imagine it's some sort of flush draw. Oh no, Zach's got King Jack 10-3, so he's got a straight draw. Jesse has bet the turn. Don't see exactly what it is. Oh, it's a nine, and Zach's got the nuts. <laughs> Zach here with the nuts with Jack 10. Limit Omaha high. Mike Nori obviously folds just dry aces. And now Jesse is drawing for the board to pair. The river is a seven. Bet. And again, limit. Jesse getting almost 13 to one, <coughs> makes the call. Zach wins a big one there with Jack 10. New game? game? Yep. What do we got here, Jesse? Omaha hitter better? New game. Oh, the button is new there. This is oh, Omaha 8. Oh, I I was on my yeah. you got the 08 up there. Oh, Limit so 08. 200, 400. This is my favorite game to play live. I play this game at the Rio during oh, the World Series. Are you going out to Vegas? Uh, right at the start? Uh, yeah, before. 26, I, I think, I maybe. Get back in that range. Okay. At one point. Me neither. <laughs> uh, I'll probably get there like. Button moves here to Marty Schaefer. Right, that, like, which is 30, 30, 30, right? I think, yeah. We are going to be going. We've actually already done two hours. We're going to be going for another three hours. To the where you staying? Playing a mix of six games, big bet and limit. Right now we are in limit. Omaha, high low, eight or better. As far away from the strip as possible. It's actually truly as far away. It's like the very last neighborhood for the mountains. Ellie limps in and Chris raises. Ace nine, king four, suited to the king. And Zach is going to call getting a price in the big blind with a straight high hand. Ace deuce nine with a couple of clubs. Nut flush draw here for Chris. And this could get Zach in a little bit of trouble here. Now, you'll see if a low card comes, Zach is probably going to check fold the turn. Wow, turn is a set of jacks for Zach. Ellie with a wheel draw in 5-3. Chris bets here. And just a call and a call. The river is a 3. That now counterfeits Ellie. Ellie bets out on the river. And did Zach fold a set of jacks at the end? He did. Zach folded a set of jacks at the end, thinking that Ellie had a wheel. It went bet call. And a set of threes wins it. Ellie bet his high hand for value. Chris called. And Zach folded jack, jack, jack. And Ellie wins it with a set of threes. You guys just need to They did actually make a small difference. Maybe we need to... You know, huddle up a little bit closer. <laughs> so uh, Martin looks pretty. <laughs> he looks like he's in the last. Like look at like a still setting of it. Just like that man is freezing. <laughs> 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 
cheeks are a little red. That was probably the most interesting hand we've seen in 08, limit 08, so far uh, tonight. I was actually a little bit surprised that Zach didn't check race the turn. I don't know. Evidently, Zach does. You'd be like, Zach, I can't call. I too cold. Of course, that is assuming that all of our cards are correct. I need my clothes. We don't want, see, we're, we're drawing dead because we're, we're bad. We're, we're way behind. We don't have, we don't have any. We're a short stack. That's the word. Mike Norrie's going to open it up here. Ace, queen, queen, jack in high low from under the gun, suited to the ace. You'll actually see some people limp this hand because it's a straight one way hand. Check. Mike's going to see bet here. Definitely has a lot of ace deuces in his range, but he has queens. Ellie makes the call. He's got nines full. Wow, Ellie's flopped a huge, huge hand. He just calls. Turns the six of clubs. And Dan's going to lead out here with a flush. Mike going to fold his queens. And here comes the raise with nines full. And Troy has turned sixes full. Wow. Three bet. And a three bet. So full house over full house. Bet, raise. Bet. Check, raise, three bet. Four bet from Ellie and a call. River's a jack. Check. And nines full is going to win versus sixes full. So Ellie just playing the call on the flop. Just with Troy. Keeps Don't Troy in there with queen, queen, six, six. <laughs> Gets an absolute gin turn card. Dan Zach makes a flush. Troy makes sixes full. So thank you guys for joining us on this long, long stream. If you want to check out this show after the fact or all our shows, you can subscribe to Live at the Bike. $19.99 a month gets you access to everything. If you want to check it out for free, use the promo code POKER. Have a good day, guys.